I'm back with another review I'm doing from Wave 6 of the Vintage Collection, VC47, General Lando Calrissian. Here's the card back. Now, normally I try to get two card backs of each figure so I could show you one unopened and then show you the figure. But uh, I do have almost a perfect card back of this at my folks' place. But I just wanted to get this review out of the way. So in the future, I might do some Lando lineup or something and show you the unopened version as well. To start off with, um, a lot of people assume Return of the Jedi, when the Kenner was doing it, was a big wave. It actually spanned two years, 83 and 84. I looked it up. A lot of people are going to assume, you know, this is the original card back from The Empire Strikes Back, Episode 6. The original card back was actually a Power of the Force 1 figure. We'll show you on the back. Now, there's something else confusing about this. When, uh, the Power of the Force 1 was kind of the last wave, kind of a collector's wave for Kenner. And when Hasbro bought it out, their stuff is called Power of the Force. As you notice, a lot of 1990s figures and playsets and whatnot. Actually, that's Power of the Force 2. I didn't know this starting out as a reviewer, but you kind of live and learn. Power, so Power of the Force 1 is kind of a last hurrah for Kenner. Power of the Force 2, which says Power of the Force on it, is kind of a jump start for Hasbro with the Star Wars stuff. So we have that straight. Uh, the first Lando was a Power of the Force 1 figure in 85. And he's had four iterations since. I've got them right here. If you can excuse the glare off my computer. Here's Power of the Force 1 under Kenner. Power of the Force 2. Lando's been doing some steroids here. Uh, this one I actually have shown you in a diorama, but I haven't done a review of. Uh, this is the OTC Lando. Also the Saga 2004 Lando Calrissian. And here's the current one right here. So this figure's been done four times. Here's the current one. Here he is. I like this figure overall, but uh, it's got some glaring emissions to it. For one is the cape. It just looked like he used duct tape on his cape or something. I really don't like that strap at all. That's a glaring omission to this figure. Otherwise, the figure is very, very good. Um, I would like to make a side note that when I started doing reviews, I don't know how long a lot of you would follow me or look at my old reviews. I do do a Lando Calrissian Stormtrooper comic pack. It's the Empire Strikes Back comic pack. I believe it's the last comic pack of the 30th anniversary. Now, that Lando, his cape was totally flawless. I mean, as I've said about the uh, the Senate Guard, a big thing about Star Wars is the capes and the robes. That cape, it's a, it's a wire cape, and you can adjust it to different directions. It'll more or less stay there. It stays on and perfectly. Uh, that Lando itself is a redo of the original trilogy collection Lando, but they redid the cape, and the cape, the cape is a perfect 10. They should have used that mold for this cape, but they didn't. They, this cape, not only does it have that glaring strap on it, also it kind of feels like it's cheaper material. So I'm going to hold that against them. Otherwise, the figure is very good. Um, Rebelscum.com did not have an official listing for his articulation. So I, I made a good guess at it. I'm going to read it off to you. Uh, ball jointed neck, ball hinged shoulders, and ball hinged elbows. Swivel, swivel wrists, swivel waist, ball jointed hips it looks like, and ball hinged knees and ankles. This Lando is very articulate. As you can see, he can do the splits. Everything is wrists, move. Uh... One thing about this outfit, Billy D. Williams has some trouble in this outfit in the movie. By the way, if you don't know, Billy D. Williams is the actor who plays Lando. If you didn't know that, uh, there was a famous scene when him and Han are talking in the hangar bay, and Han offers him the Falcon for the, uh, the run on the Death Star. And if you look really closely at that scene, I'll give you a 360 as I'm explaining this to you. If you look really closely at that scene, every time it flashes back and forth between Lando and Han, uh, this gun belt moves around on him. They just couldn't quite get the gun belt right. Uh, to go across his chest. They have some problems with that outfit. It's kind of funny if you watch that scene closely. But uh, it looks like also this gun belt is removable. So uh, you can take that off. You can also take the cape off. It really doesn't look that good with the cape off. But uh, this figure is pretty good overall. You know, a, a really good cape, I would have given him over a 9. I'm probably going to give him an 875. The head sculpt's good. The articulation is good. You know, he goes great in the uh, Legacy Collection Falcon with Nia Numb. If now, if they'd redo the Nia Numb, I know they did the B-Wing figure, and I did a review of it, but the, if they'd redo the uh, the Falcon Nia Numb, that would be awesome. But, uh, you know, he's a good figure overall, but just the cape kind of brings him down a bit. Otherwise, he's worth a good... He's worth picking up, I definitely tell you that. So an 875 for Lando, and I hope you enjoyed looking at this figure as much as I enjoyed showing it to you. This is Supreme signing out, as always. Thank you for tuning in.